Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, and I am your Gaming Monk for the evening. This is Day 21 of the RPG A Day 2019 Challenge. Today's word is vast. I think for this kind of word, I want to focus on vast possibilities. And with that in mind, I see this as a perfect opportunity for me to talk about Fantasy Craft again. Because even though I reviewed it recently, there was a lot more that I skimmed over. Because when I think of Vast, that game comes to mind due to the sheer amount of customization and possibility that the game has. Where every single aspect can be customized in one form or another. The feats that do, that do more than just one-trick ponies and actually are fairly organized. The spellcasting and divine stuff that's completely optional. The fact that you can make things more gritty or more fantastical with just a few mo with just a few modifications. The absolute pinnacle of customization when it comes to weapons, armor, and magic items. There's so there's so much there that is specifically designed for the people who like to tweak and like to hack their games. Me, in other words. Because you see. I like these kind of potentials due to the fact that I do not want to run just one specific style of play at any given time. I'd rather have my style be tailor-made for the type of mood, the type of tone, the type of genre and subgenre that I'm running at that point in time. This is also the reason why I tend to phrase my the end of my reviews with who would I recommend this to? Because that's ultimately what I'm doing when I'm writing a review. Would I recommend this game or not? The other aspect is the fact that it could be argued that I could just easily jump to something like GURPS or Hero or Set or even Savage Worlds for that matter, or Fate. But the problem with going with a universal style game is that in being universal, it loses the kind of specific touch that I prefer in my games. That's not to say I don't like universal style games, but they are a very specific style that doesn't quite match up with what I want to do at times. Whereas games that offer a wide degree of potential within a certain umbrella is something I'm a lot more willing to jump in on. I use the example of Fantasy Craft, and actually a better example in this regard would be Woween, which I intend to review in the future, What's Old is New, where each of the aspects, old, new, and now, are meant to cover a wide genre, whether it be fantasy games, science fiction, or contemporary stuff. And while there is some mix and matching allowed with how it's set up, the key here is that each of them represents a very broad umbrella that a lot of their particular styles fall under. Now whether or not they do this successfully is something I'm going to leave up to you. But for me, this sort of approach is the most fitting. 